welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantelle. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have a Christmas DIY video. Now these are not new DIYs, but I wanted to put this video out for a couple of reasons. The first one is that there are a lot of new subscribers here on my channel, so I'm really thankful for that, but I wanted to put out my favorite DIYs that I have done over the last couple of years for Christmas so that you can check those out. But also, because Dollar Tree is getting a lot of Christmas items in, I wanted to put this video out so that you can be watching for these items at Dollar Tree if you want to make any of these and so that you don't miss out. So that's why I decided to compile these into one video, my five favorite Christmas DIYs. And I will put the links to all of these full tutorial videos in the description box so that you can watch the whole video if you want to see every DIY step by step. So let's jump in and I will show you my five favorite Christmas DIYs. Number five is this decorative pillow that I made from a scarf from Dollar Tree, as well as a couple of ornaments, these snowflakes, and also this joy ornament. And then I used some fiber fill that I had on hand. I cut the fringe off of one end of the scarf and then I figured out how long I wanted my pillow to be and folded the scarf over and then I just trimmed off the excess on the other end of the scarf. I used my hot glue gun to seal the edges but you could sew this if you wanted to if you preferred that and so I'm doing both of the long sides I'm just running hot glue down both sides and then I'm going to turn my pillow inside out. Then I'm stuffing my pillow with that fiber fill that I had on hand. Once it is stuffed, I'm going to fold over the ends, kind of tuck them in, and then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to seal up the end of the pillow. I'm going to remove the hangers from all of the ornaments and I'm going to hot glue a snowflake on each end of the pillow and then I'm going to place the joy ornament in the center. And on the joy ornament I cut off the hanger as well as the little plastic loop at the top that the hanger was attached to. And then I just made sure that all of the ornaments were attached very securely using my hot glue. Now obviously this pillow is not comfortable to lay on and it's not machine washable, but what a cute decor piece this is just to set in a chair or somewhere around your house. My number four favorite DIY for Christmas are these lighted Christmas presents. I was really excited to figure out how to make these and they're not as hard as you might think. And they're very inexpensive. To make these I picked up some of the 12 inch dowels and also some of the six inch dowels. Uh, from Dollar Tree. These are in the Crafter Square section. I'm also using some of the deco mesh and some of the wired ribbon that Dollar Tree carries. And the clear strings of Christmas lights. So for the large present I'm using all 12 inch dowels and I am gluing them with hot glue. I am just using them indoors and so hot glue is fine. If you're going to set them out like on a covered porch or something, you want to probably use a stronger glue like E6000 that will 
um, withstand the uh, cold and elements a little bit more if you're in that type of an environment. But I am first gluing four of the dowels together in a square and then I'm going to basically be making a cube. And you can check out the link in the description box below for the full tutorial on how I explain how to do that. But you can pretty much see here how it will look once all the dowels are glued together. Since I'm going to be covering this cube with the red deco mesh, then I am painting my dowels with the red so that they don't stand out quite as much. And then I am going to cover my cube with a couple of layers of the mesh. Once the cube is covered with mesh, I'm going to make a bow to go on the top of my present. And I do explain how I make my bows in the full tutorial. And I'm going to also wrap some of the wired ribbon around the sides of the present. And that will finish it off. And to attach the bow to the top of the present, I just tied some floral wire around it and then I poke that through the top, securing it through the ribbon as well as the mesh and around the dowel and tie it securely. Then all that's left is to add the lights to the inside of the present and I'm just going to attach those to the dowels on the inside, kind of going from one side to the other just to disperse them kind of evenly um, inside the present. And that's all there is to it. I really, really like how these turned out. To make a smaller present, I just used the six inch dowels, but it's the same process. These look great with the lights off and they look great with the lights on. Number three is this lighted Christmas diorama that is made out of these tins from Dollar Tree. And these make a great gift to give to someone. So I'm going to start by cutting a little hole in the back of the tin and I, you want to be very careful doing this but I just used a razor knife and cut a little hole. This is so that I can put my lights through and so if you're not making it lighted, then you wouldn't need to do this step. Once I have that hole cut, then I'm going to take some painter's tape and just take some small pieces and wrap around the inside of that just to protect from the sharp edges. And this is not only to protect people, but also I don't want it to cut through the wire um, that I'm going to put through the hole. Next I'm going to paint the inside of the tin and I couldn't decide whether I wanted to use black or dark blue. I kind of wanted to make this look like a dark midnight sky and so I painted it black at first. Then I decided I wanted the blue so I painted the blue over the top and I liked it better. This next step is completely optional. I happen to have some glitter spray, so I sprayed that on just to give it a little bit of a shimmer. Once that is dry, it's time to attach the lights and so I am going to attach the battery pack to the back side of the tin. When you do this, make sure that the part that opens is facing outwards so you can replace the batteries when you need to. 
I just used some hot glue to attach this, but honestly it wouldn't hurt to add a little bit of E6000 because mine did come off and I had to glue it back on again. Then I'm going to thread the end of the lights into the inside of the tin. Now these lights are like the little fairy lights and so the, they're very tiny little lights so they go through the hole very easily. And then I'm going to hot glue these all around the edge of the inside edge of the tin and it went around almost exactly two times. Then I'm going to create the scene inside my little tin. I am using some kind of angel hair type filler that I had on hand already but you can pick up any kind of little filler I just kind of wanted it to look like snow and then I'm using some little trees from Dollar Tree and the little sleigh ornament and I picked up some presents to put inside the little sleigh any kind of little scene decoration uh, you can use ornaments or the little miniatures uh, just to create your own little scene inside of this and you will want to secure them to the tin so that they don't get all jumbled up when you're storing these or when you're moving them around. Although the lid does come off of this so you can open it up and fix it if you need to. Then I'm adding some snowflake stickers to the back of my little scene. And I added a little bow with some berries to the sleigh just to give it a little bit more embellishment. So really just be creative, use your imagination, and have fun with it. And then for my last step, I tied a ribbon around the tin and put a bow on the top. And this is so cute. I love these. I loved making it and having it as a decoration in my house, as well as giving them as gifts. My number two favorite Christmas DIY is this Christmas mailbox. It is so whimsical and really it's easy to make but it looks so expensive and it's really not. And it is literally made with all items from Dollar Tree. So I used a Dollar Tree plumber, plumber, not a plumber. <laughs> Dollar Tree plumber, a plunger. If I could get a plumber for a dollar, that'd be great. Anyway, I cut out the center of the rubber part of the plunger and then I attached it back to the wooden handle. And then I painted that whole piece white and then I also dry brushed it with a little bit of a light gray color. Then I took a couple of the round pieces of floral foam and I put them in one of the galvanized buckets. I'm using the one that has the jute twine already around it. And you do want to glue these foam pieces into the bucket. And I'm going to glue that wooden plunger handle into the center of the foam and I'm going to do that so that the rubber part is at the top. Mm -hmm. 
to add some weight to this mailbox so it doesn't tip over, I'm going to push some of these black smooth stones down around the foam and then I'm going to fill in around the top of the foam as well. And then I'm going to hot glue my little mailbox that's also from Dollar Tree to the top of that rubber piece on the handle. I didn't love the way the stones looked, so I decided to add some Spanish moss on the top just to cover up those stones. Next I'm going to use some of the pine garland ties and I'm going to connect them together and then wrap them around the post. And I'm going to add a floral pick that I picked up at Dollar Tree just to add some color at the bottom of the post. To add some florals to the mailbox, I glued some floral picks and some of those pine garland ties together and then I am hot gluing them to the side of the mailbox and I made sure not to glue it to the little mailbox flag so that that was still movable and could be put up and down. And I do show in the full tutorial how I put those florals together, so if you want to see that, check out the link in the description box below. And then to finish it off, I am going to add my lights. So I am put the batteries in the little light pack. I'm wrapping the lights up around the garland that's on the post and up into the florals in the mailbox. And I hid the little battery pack underneath the Spanish moss. And again, I love how this turned out. It's so fun and it just brightens up the room uh, and it's just very Christmassy. And what a great place for kids to put a letter to Santa. And honestly, I would have to say this is probably a tie for first place with this next project, which is this Joy Farmhouse window. To make this I used three rectangular picture frames from Dollar Tree and I removed everything out of the frames. Then I used some white chalk paint to paint the picture frames. And then I used hot glue to glue the glass back into the picture frames. I would suggest maybe using a little bit of E6000 in a couple of places just to make sure that glass is secure. And then I use a combination of E6000 and hot glue to glue the three picture frames together. Then I'm going to use some craft sticks just to reinforce this and make it a little bit stronger. Then I used some florals that I picked up at Walmart. They have some nice big bunches for just $5 that look a lot more quality than some of the ones you find at Dollar Tree, but you can get some nice ones at Dollar Tree as well. And so I'm just arranging those florals and once I have them the way I want them, I secure them together using some floral wire and then I hot glue that to the top of the picture frame. And then I'm using some Dollar Tree wired ribbon again and make a nice bow and add that to those florals. Then I'm using these letter ornaments and a snowflake ornament from Dollar Tree along with some fishing line and I am going to uh, just hang my letters from the top of each window pane. And just a tip here, this step would have been much easier to do before I added the florals. So I would suggest doing this step before you add the florals to the top. And here's the finished window. I really like how this turned out. I think those florals from Walmart really added a lot and made it look really high-end. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which project is your favorite. And remember the links to the full tutorial videos for all of these projects are in the description box below. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you stick around and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos because there will be a lot more DIY videos to come. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you.